What is good with y'all? Y'all know who it is. Boy, you want to be himself, the master, one and only. Your boy, DJ V. Back at it again with another episode of the View is Real Cast. So, today, um, I'll just go ahead and say it. Today will just be a mostly... Um, just one about COVID. I mean, it's it's been low key a tough week for me. Um, because with the passing of Kobe, um, this week I lost a friend. Um, my good friend Lindsay uh, passed away, and he. In a unaf- in a uh, tragic manner, tragic manner that I don't want to s- discuss publicly like that. I mean, if y'all want to know the full extent about what happened, um, y'all can message me and I'll tell you. But um, like I said, today's been this has been a tough week right now um, because of this whole re- two reasons. Um, and before I go on more about Kobe and everything, um, just want to say like rest in peace to the Antibili family, um, the Chester family, um, the Manure family, and a- Enza, Anna, and of the Pilot family. Um, um, may my heart, prayers, and thoughts go with you through this tough time. Um, and especially the Bryant family to Vanessa and the three daughters of her and Kobe and the loss of their sister Gigi Um, so um, what I wanted to talk about is mainly how Kobe has impacted me as a type of person because Kobe was a different type of animal when it came to basketball. Every player has their own way of making an impact. But Kobe is impact on the game of basketball. Is up there with such people like Michael Jordan and LeBron James. Um when you spoke about the GOAT conversation, it was always three names. Jordan, LeBron, and Kobe. All three have fans. All three have felt about which one was the GOAT conversation. And... After basketball, that was still the conversation about Kobe, LeBron, Jordan. Anytime you spoke about basketball, especially when it came to rings, MVPs, you had Kobe. You had people who had Kobe over LeBron, Kobe over Jordan, Jordan over Kobe, Jordan over LeBron, LeBron over Jordan, LeBron over Kobe. It was a it was a triangle. You either have pick one side or <clears throat> you was going to be shocked. So, um, to go more and elaborate about as to how Kobe impacted me, not not as just a sports fan, but as a person in general. The reason how Kobe impacted me as a person is because, like I said, I'm a sports fan. And basketball is my favorite sport ever. I played all sports, but basketball is my favorite sport. And growing up, watching Kobe, whenever he played, he always gave you hope. He always gave you hope that no matter if y'all were down by 20, 25, 30, hell, it could be even 40. He made you believe that as long as as you got me, we gonna win this thing. 
and as a person, I took that to reality as to no matter what situation we might be in, what type of things that might be going on and everything, there will be some way, somehow we will pull it out. I don't know how, but we are because you got me. And while it's a tragic loss to the sports world, to the community of Los Angeles, and to everybody, like me included, the millions of people from here, from the U.S., all the way to China, it's a sad loss indeed. But while it's a sad loss, one thing I would one thing I will say is blessed because we have been blessed for the forty one years of Kobe's life. The twenty plus years that Kobe has been in the league from a teenager all the way up into his thirties. We have been blessed to watch a player of him basically grow because Kobe has played for one team his whole career which was the Los Angeles Lakers the only other jersey he ever wore was the USA basketball team even though the same moments where Kobe almost was going to be gone out of LA he stuck it out he stayed and became what well, most people would say, the greatest Laker of all time. I mean, there is Kareem, but a lot of people put Kobe as the greatest because his worst ethic, legendary. His play style, unmatched. I mean, yes, we called him, you know, um, Jordan 2.0, the copycat, the clone, whatever name you wanted to call Jordan, whatever name you want to call Kobe. The things he did <clears throat> made him stand out from anybody else because Kobe Bryant was a different monster. Even seeing him going down when he tore his Achilles, having one of the best season ever, knowing that ain't nobody going to help me out. I got my back. I got to do this. For him to get up and walk with no leg, with no no ankle, basically, and to hit them two free throws, legendary. I gotta say thank you for giving us a farewell ending to by far the greatest season of the 2010s, because the 2016, the ending of the NBA season, 2016. It's so different now thinking about it because we had Golden State Warriors break the all time Bulls record of 73 and 9. Well, the 70, the Bulls record was 72 and 10. The Golden State broke it 73 and 9. And we also had Kobe Bryant's final game and he gave 60 points. Finished off his career doing how he started his career by a free throw. Such a poetic, such a poetic ending to his career, yo. And it's, it's just, it's just really hard, you know, that we won't ever get to see another Kobe. He was, he was training his daughter Gigi to be the next Black Mama, Baby Mamba, I like to call her. But she's gone with him. But I know that they will continue on training in heaven. Shooting hoops, playing against God and Jesus. <laughs> Knowing Kobe. He, he, he's, he's that type of person that no matter who you are, the biggest star to the lowest star, when it came to basketball, there were no friends to Kobe. 
Got my lollygagging joke after the game, but on the court, we are enemies. And that's what impact he had on me because if I were to pursue basketball, like I wish I was kept it taller and everything because I'm five, nine and a half. I wish I would have been taller and continue on, or in general, just continue on playing basketball so I could have made it to the league to face Kobe Bryant. Because even though I may get my ass busted, you know, I'm going to still talk that smack to Kobe. I'm going to still play Kobe. Like, it's, it's, I'm going to walk into that, I'm going to walk into the gym feeling like I'm the best ever. Even though I may be the rookie. That's the mindset Kobe installed on me. No matter if it's the first game to the last game, I'm going to play like I'm the best. I don't care if you may be a veteran. I want the ball for the last shot. And if I miss, that's on me. If I make it, that's on me. That's the type of person Kobe installed into my mind as a basketball player. That Mamba mentality to go out there, I don't care who you are, I'm going to pull up in your face. You could be a seven footer, I'll pull up in your face. You could be somebody taller than me, I'm going to drive on you. Kobe played bigger, bigger than what he was. He was only. 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, but he played like a giant. He walked the court like a giant. He walked around with the shoulder on his back, the ego on, on, on his chest and everything because that's the mindset you got to have. And that's the mindset Kobe had every single night when he played the game of basketball. And that's the type of person he instilled in me as a sports fan. That's why you see a lot of players wearing the number eight. Why you see a lot of players wearing the number 24. Kobe's worth ethic was something else different. On the match, unreal. And that's why I say we have been blessed to see 20 years of this. 20 years in the league of basketball. Playing through injuries, all that, never complaining one bit about it, fighting through it, because he knows. This could be my last game, so I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave it out. I'm gonna leave it out on the court. This could be my last game, so let me go out here and play like it's my last game. No matter when, or lose, play like we are the best. And to see the amount of impact that Kobe has had on people is when whenever somebody asks me what I want to be one day, my dream job would be to be an actor because I want to use my platform, my face on something to impact people's lives for the better, to give them hope, inspiration, and to strive to be the best. Always keep their head up high and always feel great. And that's what Kobe has done. So, while I don't want to be an actor, my main goal was to be impact people's lives like have you seen about Kobe Bryant. Because you've seen grown men, multiple and multiple NBA stars, break down in tears. Fans break down in tears over one man. Fans like me who haven't even, met, haven't even met him breaking down over this man. Because that's how impactful Kobe Bryant was. Even people who don't know Kobe Bryant and to hear about his death has broke them down. No one here reports that Gigi was in Kobe Bryant's arms. 
it just breaks your heart, yo. And like I like I say this real fast, um, they release new audio from a doorbell, this Google Nest of Kobe Bryant's accident. And when you first hear it, it's just like there's just nothing, you know, just you hear something, then it's just silent. And then <laughs> sorry about sorry about that. But then when you're informed that the silence you hear is basically the crash. The thud and then silence, that's the crash. And it's just, it makes you feel a certain way that you have never felt before. Like I said, I have never been somebody to do celebrity worship. I mean, like, I worship, you know, LeBron and all that as a great basketball player and a human being. But when when I heard that audio, heard that thud, emptiness came over me. Then then silence is just lost hope. I listened to that video multiple times just to think that you could possibly hear, you know, help or something like that, but you just hear nothing. You just lose hope, yo. It's just all hope is just gone. But I don't I don't wanna get to that and start getting all emotional. But um like I said, Kobe Brian was not just an icon of basketball, he was an icon of life. So people call him a legend, I call him an icon. Because even though Kobe had his mistakes and was still going to be brought up and everything, he was a great man, a great father and a great husband. Even though him and his wife may have up and downs, they stay strong. And it's just, like I said, it's just amazing how one person can bring so many people together because he was that type of a person. So, to my friend Lizzie, Lindsay, who I lost, thank you for blessing me with your time, our conversations, and spending time together. I will deeply miss you. I love you, girl. I will deeply miss you. Is it Kobe Bryant? Thank you for blessing me and millions of other people who watched you, who wanted to see you win, who wanted to see you be defeated. But at the end of the day, Appreciated your greatness for who you are and what you did. Thank you for your contribution to basketball. And thank you for playing the game and striving to show us what it means to be the best. We will deeply miss you. And we will forever love you, Kobe. So before I end up this video, to everybody who may have had some beef with people, who may have had, you know, anchors, crips, bloods, whoever it may be, or just at this time, be at peace with them. Even if they even if they hate you, just tell them you're sorry. Because you know, I mean, there's there's certain people I can understand why you don't want to speak to them, but like people you may have had petty beef with, arguments, things like that. Just tell them you're sorry. 
because you never know when that text message you send, that last phone call that you hang up with, that last that, that last hello you said to them, that last good morning text, that last good night text, that last bye text, or in person the last kisses hug or anything it may be. You never know, because that might be the last image you have in your mind of them. So go out, be at peace with them, have some smiles with them, have a drink with them, a meal, spend time with them, take a selfie with them, even though you don't like selfies or anything, take a picture with them, because you never know. If that could be the last time you ever see them again. Rest in peace to Lindsay. Rest in peace to Kobe. Rest in peace to Gianna, Gigi Bryant, Antebelli family, Chester family, the Miller family, the Pilot family, the ones that were on. That helicopter that day, except for my friend Lindsay. Like I said, that's a separate reason. We mourn you. We miss you. And we are so thankful to have, have, have had you a part of our life. Be blessed, everyone. Be blessed. Till then. Also, real fast, use what they did in your life and how they impacted you. Add it to your personality, add it to yourself that you continue on to carry that legacy because that's how they, how they would want it to be. How you impacted them and how they impacted you as a gift so with that now your boy DJ V Audi five thousand